How can you convince a person to say yes when their natural instinct is to say no? And this leads to a simple question. Why is it normal for so many people, the vast majority, to immediately refuse what it is you would like them to at least consider? Why do they say no so quickly? Now here's a way to overcome this. Hi, I'm Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. So often a mere glance at the body language and facial expression of a person reveals yet another negative dimension to the no thanks mindset well in motion before you've even had the opportunity to explain anything. So why is the instant reaction so intent on denying you any chance of selling or providing what you have to offer? Well it is based on a person's memory. They believe they've been down this path before or something similar and they want to avoid a repeat experience. If you want to influence somebody you need to understand how they use their past experiences to make decisions. The way they do this influences how they see the present and the future. People tend to remember, acutely remember, a bad experience and this alone conditions the way they see the present and its impact on the future. This would be a reasonable way to respond if it wasn't for the fact that the memory banks are deeply flawed, often mistaken and can be wildly inaccurate. Inaccuracy with the finer aspects of how the brain remembers an event leads to this problem. In fact, an identical experience, an identical event experienced by two people just moments ago can be remembered in quite a different way moments later. We think and we believe we know what happened. After all, we were there. But this does not prevent the brain from filling in the gaps and coming almost to its own conclusion. So what can you do to prevent a previous interpretation of an event causing somebody to reject you out of hand? You need to use the way the brain organizes the memory of an event to your advantage. Now it's fairly pointless just plowing on regardless, attempting to do this when you will almost certainly peremptorily hear the no word. Simply put, the brain recalls how a previous experience ended and then it magically assembles how the whole of the experience occurred. In other words, it makes up stuff, it adds in the details and it's all based on the previous outcome. So a bad experience, particularly when you're trying to sell something, will always instantly be recalled to your disadvantage. So you need to have a way to overcome this. The trick is to make sure that you address what is likely to happen if they do not take up your offer. Don't mess about. Make sure they really understand the consequences of not acting in your favor. And given a person will to a large degree be influenced by past bad experiences, you should not never overlook this. Pay attention and you will see the past written in their expression. It always stands out. Simply observe this. What else should you do? Well, paint a picture of the consequences of how the future in the given context will look if they take up your offer. And if you fail to do this, they may well go with how they emotionally feel rather than the accuracy, logic and sense of what you actually have available. Just make sure you put the benefits without exaggerating them and then they will quite naturally believe what you have to say. Click on the image and I will send you some brilliant tips to make sure that you get more than your fair share of yes please. Remember you have many faces, many skills, many talents and some wonderful attributes and several choices. Why not put them to use? The task is to use how the brain works to prevent a bad experience from preventing you from being really successful and having a way to overcome this natural tendency that people have. So until we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.